so carbon monoxide which is CO and this reaction gives us CH, uh, no sorry not CSC, uh, gives us ruthenium, it's a ligand substitution reaction, you know what it is if you have watched my playlist on transition elements, so I get CO, CFO, negative, plus H2O, so this is the reaction that I that I have, the balanced equation, and the rate equation for this reaction is given as, wait, uh, I'll not write it here, there is not much space actually unfortunately, so I'll write it over here, yeah I'll write it over here, wait is equal to k times because we have to use double square brackets because concentration and then for the complex hand we also have square brackets R U H 2 whole twice C L 4 to negative so uh, okay so this is it uh, it's only for the first reactant the order with respect to CO, so we can see it is zero because um, there is no CO in the rate equation. There is only the this complex ion of ruthenium. So, and this is also raised to the power of one. Uh, don't take the charge as the power. Take the charge on the overall ion, which is take the power on the overall ion, which is one. So, now we know that in in the correct mechanism. So we are given three possible mechanisms over here. Mechanisms one, two, and three. And uh, we, had, we have to deduce which of these three mechanisms is cons consistent with the rate equation. So uh, we are given that this is the rate equation and we know that now the slowest step will, be only, will only contain this ion. So in mechanism one, this, there is only one step and it contains both. So this is wrong because the slowest step cannot contain carbon monoxide since carbon monoxide is not there in the rate equation. In mechanism 2, the slowest step only contains the complex ion and it is slow. Yes, this is possible. Mechanism 3, the slowest step again contains both carbon monoxide and the complex ion, which is not possible because uh, there is no carbon monoxide in the rate equation. So this is also wrong. So the answer is, is mechanism 2 because only the ruthenium complex ion occurs in the rate equation. So only that will react in the slowest step. So we can see that only this has reacted in this lowest step. So, so we are clear with this now. Um, now, and let's just do one last example. So uh, again, uh, I'll just give you the rea the reaction first before dealing with anything else. So it's CH three CO CH three again, which is key, uh, propanol. It's a ketone. CH three CO CH three plus I2 reacts to give CH3CO CH2I so we have added an so iodine plus H plus plus I negative so this reaction is balanced but they have also told us that this reaction happens in the presence of H plus ions, which means that H plus ions, they act as a catalyst in this reaction. And they have also given to us that the rate equation for this reaction is rate is equal to K times um, the concentration of propylon, CH3, CO, CH3. Times the concentration of H plus. Okay, so this is the rate equation, both raised to the power of one. Now, what is intriguing over here is that even though I two is a reactant and H plus is just a catalyst, not a reactant, we do not have I two in the rate equation, but we have H plus in the rate equation. 
H plus is just a catalyst and we still have it in the rate equation. So I 